Now, you're also involved in climate change related issues. And with your old friend, Tom Steyer, you have built a alliance to kind of invest in uh, climate change related companies. Explain exactly what it is. So when we created the company, we really had had this vision that there was a, both a huge need and opportunity to be able to marshal probably substantial amount of capital to orient it, private capital, to orient it around helping to accelerate uh, climate solutions. This is a critical decade that we actually have to make real progress. What we're doing with Galvanize is we um, are building a platform with quite deep expertise across science, across technology, across policy, across communications, um, across finance, that will then support a number of different investment strategies from venture capital to public equities to everything in between. All of these will be strategies that will be oriented around investing against, um, again, solutions and generating, we believe, you know, market returns. Is it a for-profit venture? Absolutely. It's really, we think that it's important that capital come into the system, that capital invest against, uh, invest for climate solutions, um, and that actually get appropriate returns for that so that we actually can then attract more capital to help you know, really create that proverbial flywheel effect. So Tom Steyer is known to many people as somebody who ran for president and who's also a big environmentalist, and so you've known him for a very long time. Tom and I were analysts at our very first job together at Morgan Stanley, so we have known each other since 1979. And so today, uh, when people talk to you about the environment, you basically say to them, this is an important issue that they really need to deal with, and your new organization will help deal with it? Exactly. It, it, but it's actually something I think that we are seeing the environment, excuse the pun, has really changed. We're seeing um, the capital markets are actually demanding that companies actually make progress on climate solution. We're seeing uh, investors look for that. We're seeing actually customers of businesses demanding different kinds of activity. We're seeing employees. We're seeing people that want to work at companies that actually have um, a much more explicit mission about that they're trying to accomplish. So we I think this is an environment that will lend itself to some real innovation and some real system change. Do clients come to you and say, look, I want the best rate of return I can legally get. Um, I'm willing to have you look at ESG, but that's not my main thing. My main thing is rate of return. Or people say to you today, ESG is very important to me and rate of return is secondary. Yes, but I actually think that's still the wrong framing of it. That still implies that you actually have to expect to give up something to have a full incorporation of environmental, social, or governance characteristics. I just don't believe that. I think that actually the best companies are those that are making the most effective use of their human capital, their physical capital, their financial capital, and those their companies that are thinking about them actually will probably be the most successful companies and maybe the most interesting investments.